Hello, my name is Will Carmack, and in today's After Effects tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you one of the most used and epic text effects in Johnny Harris's videos. This is, of course, the singling and isolating of specific words within a paragraph. It's an impactful way to showcase the key words, you know, in a section of information. But before we get started, I have to let you know that this video is sponsored by my sugar daddy, Squarespace. So you can see here, I have this clip of Sweden. Well, it's a map of Sweden. If you know Johnny Harris, he'd probably love that. I'm just gonna Google Sweden's history to grab some example text. Let me show you one of the best tricks that people don't realize about text here in After Effects. So I'm going to grab the text tool and then copy and paste this text. And obviously it's super annoying because the way it defaults is the text just pastes as one straight line, but we want it like this, like a paragraph. So what we're gonna do, we'll grab the horizontal type tool. What we're gonna do is actually right click on our text and you'll see right here, convert to paragraph text. So we're gonna click on that and then we're gonna select on the text and now you'll see that your text, you can see these little box edges that we can grab. So, so we can grab these edges and then and bring this box together and we can create how big we want the freaking paragraph. So I'm just going to make the paragraph text look something like this. Amazing. And then I'll just select all the text and over here in our character panel, we can do the rest of it like formatting, like creating how close together all the text is. But now since we've set it to paragraph text, we can just keep customizing it how we want by like scaling this bounding box. And you know, to make this text pop a little bit, what I'm gonna do is create layer, new and adjustment layer. And in effects and presets, I'm gonna type in the effect Gaussian blur and drag that on top of the adjustment layer. And just crank that up real big. I'm gonna bring that underneath of the text and I'm gonna grab the rectangle tool and create a mask where the text is. And I will just feather out this mask. So, you know, we see Sweden on the left side here, but we can now clearly read the text on the right side. And maybe I want the text to be black. So this is so easy, watch this guys. Let's duplicate our text layer. Well, for now, we're gonna make the top one invisible. So let's say the effect starts here. What I'm actually gonna do is hit T to drop down opacity on this first text layer, create a keyframe for opacity. And over a couple seconds, I will just lower the opacity down to like 15. So you can still see like a faint outline of all the text there. So you can see over a few seconds here that the text kind of fades away. So we'll actually turn back on the top text and we'll just decide what text we want to leave. So I'll grab the rectangle tool so I can create a mask on this text layer and I'll do over Sweden's history and then maybe um, the survey people, 11th century, the like union in 19, something like this. Okay. So now when the bottom text lowers in opacity, the text that we've just masked out stays bold on the top layer. So we've created this amazing effect where the important highlighted keywords stay visible while all the rest goes away. Now a fun variation of this effect you can see here is when the text fades away, the bold highlighted text animates on almost like it's being typed on. This is super easy. If you select all of your masks and hit M to drop down the mask path, we can just create a keyframe for all these mask paths here. And we'll go over to the left a few seconds. And what we'll just do is super easy. I'll take these masks and just like bring them over to the left like this. So I'm grabbing this, bringing it all the way to the left, as well as this one and this one. So you can see all these keyframes right here. So over time, you can see that these masks are revealing the important text. So the text can fade away and then everything gets animated on like this. And you can always offset these keyframes like in chronological order, kind of like this. So if you look at the keyframes, you're creating a little sequence. So everything gets typed out as chronologically where the text is in this paragraph. So the text will fade away, but then everything gets slowly typed on. Beautiful. What's super fun is with this specific technique, because this is an entirely separate text layer, let's say maybe we change the text color to like, um, not green, that looks kind of ugly. White, you know, white looks good. So over time, all this stuff gets typed on in a different color. And if you really want to be spicy with it, we can go to effects and presets, type in glow and drag that onto our top text layer. Scale up the radius just a wee bit. So now this text disappears and we get highlighted glowy text. So basically now you can create a cool stylistic text effect like Johnny Harris and After Effects. Again, this is just a great way to showcase highlighted information within an excerpt. Sorry about the cop. Anyways, I hope you like this tutorial. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section below. I will respond to everybody. And now it's time to thank my incredible sponsor, Squarespace. I have to introduce to you Squarespace's design intelligence. You might not know this about me, but I have the biggest collection of vintage life magazines in the world. And I want to create a site showing off this American history in a really pretty way. And so with 
Squarespace's design intelligence, I can create a website that looks perfect and vibey. So with these vintage magazines, maybe some cool vintage looking shapes to show off some covers. A nice color scheme that really matches the dark tones of these magazines. And if I need some assistance, they have award-winning templates. So I actually have a lot of duplicates of these vintage magazines and I wanna sell them as collector's items to other people. And what's amazing about that is Squarespace has online stores you can create. So if you have products, whether that's jewelry, plants, vintage magazines, you can create a beautiful online store with Squarespace. And even better, Squarespace Payments is endless. They have all the popular payment methods like Klarna and Afterpay, all the buy now, pay later options. And if you don't think Squarespace is incredible yet, well, how about the fact that they gave me a code to give you for 10% off your first website or domain. So go get a discount on creating a website that will bolster your image as a professional. Really anybody can benefit from having an amazing website. So build it with Squarespace. Where there's a will, there's a way. My name is Will and have a nice day.